Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. So every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. So it looks as though there's <clears throat> proof or there are statistics or poll that shows that the Democratic Party is losing its some of its non-white voters. You know, I've said it on a few videos already, even some recent ones, that that the, that the younger generations like Gen X and, and below, we just not about that uh, coming around every four years and talking about you got black people's backs. Nobody believes that. I mean, we see how you got something for everybody else to do things for other people, but barely do anything for us. You keep us, you know, you know, you keep us on the on a level, you know, where we at. We can't grow no more. You know, you make sure that we're included with everything general in general, but specifically there's nothing out there for black folks, but yet there are things out there for other groups. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it real quick. This is from the Washington examiner.com and it reads Democrats hammered for assuming what voters want to hear as Biden bleeds black and Latino support. Oh man, let's get into this. While the Democratic Party has long championed the non-white vote, emerging data suggests that black, Latino, and Asian voters are shifting Republican, leaving Democrats vulnerable heading into November. Since the 1960s civil rights era, the majority of non-white voters have been fervent supporters of the Democratic Party, the party of the Ku Klux Klan. Let's remember that. But a recent New York Times Cena College Poll shows that many no that may no longer be the case. President Joe Biden leads Donald Trump 56 to 44 percent among non-white voters, a group which Biden won over the former president by almost 50 percentage points in 2020, according to the poll. So basically it's saying that Biden got 75 percent of these voters and Donald Trump got 25 percent. While, you know what, I want to click on this poll right quick. I'm going to lose my place. Let's just see what this poll says. Cross-tab polls, times, Let's see. Hmm. Do you think the United States is on the right track or is, or is it headed in the wrong direction? Uh, let's see. 24% say it's on the right track. 65% say it's on the wrong track. <clears throat> this is from registered voters. I'm just reading some poll right quick from the New York Times. And volunteered, don't know, or refused to answer it was 11%. Number of respondents, 980, which is not a lot. Which is not a lot. A lot. Percentage of total electorate, 100%. Eh, it's not a really whole lot. Let's see. Is there anything that's a lot more? Thinking ahead to the presidential general election, are you almost certain you will vote? Very likely to vote, somewhat likely to vote, not very likely to vote, or not vote at all. I wonder where you get these polls from again, because ain't nobody ever came to my house and asked me any of these questions. Of the registered voters, 51% said almost certain, 32% said very likely, 7% said somewhat likely, 3% said not very likely, 5% not at all, nobody said they already voted, and 2% said they don't know or refuse, that's the same 980 people. Hmm. If, the, if the 2024 president election was held today, who would you vote for? If the candidates were Joe Biden, you got 43%. Donald Trump, 48%, and 10% either don't know or refuse to vote. And who would you vote for if the candidates were Joe Biden? What? Same thing. Oh, Joe Biden, Democrat, 35%. Nikki Haley, 45%. 4% if it's another candidate. 9% are so not going to vote, wouldn't vote if those were the choices. And 6% said don't know or refuse to answer. And would you vote for the candidates with Kamala Harris? 41% of them? Well, shoot, we see. Hmm, interesting. Donald Trump, 47%. 1% said another candidate. 5% said not going to vote. Wouldn't vote if those were the choices. And 5% said don't know refusal. In what year were you born? If from ages 18 to 29, 16%. 30 to 44, 23%. 45 to 64, 32%. 65%, 24% refuse to answer 6%. So basically what you're seeing is <clears throat> from 45 to 64 are the majority of the respondents. And they're the ones who are saying like, you know, 
or you know, those are the ones you got to really think about because 65 and older, they won't be voting for too much longer. They won't be voting for too many more presidential elections. 45 to 64, they may still got two, three, four of them left. Probably more, hopefully more than that. Well, not to 64 because that's every four years. Yeah, it could be. So they'll be voting for a while. Highest education, most of it's high school, hmm, and tw- with 28%, and a bachelor's degree, 23%, social degree, 10%. That's interesting. Some college, no degree, 16%. Are you a descendant of Mexico? 85% say no. What would you consider yourself? 73% of these people are white. 12% of black or African Americans, 3% or Asian or Asian Americans, 2% of Native Americans, 5% some other race, 2% more than one race, 3% refused, and that was from 800 some people. Amazing, but anyway, that's a lot, ooh, it's a lot of damn polls. I'm gonna let y'all read that. Y'all click on that little button called the poll and where it says poll on this Washington Examiner. You looked at all the polls yourself. It said, while older black voters who were around during the civil rights movement still remain loyal to the party, which is sad because that's, those are people that tell you your ancestors died for you to have the right to vote and you should vote Democrat because white, I mean, Republicans are, are racist. When again, we've already shown like Joe Biden's past beliefs and things that he have done to hurt the black community. We've seen this, Right. They still want to say that you vote Democrat because Republicans going to have you in chains. But you got to remember, like I said before in a previous video, they said that when Donald Trump ran and we were not in chains, they're going to put us back in chains. I don't remember any slave driver coming to my house and snatching me and my family up in those four years. So, and it didn't do it during Biden's four years either. So now we have a taste of both. So now we're going off of which one do we think was better for the people? Simple as that, right? Because you're supposed to vote the people is what you're voting for. Uh, let's say, well, uh, say, yeah, let's say okay, again, while other black voters who were around during the civil rights movement still remain loyal to the party, younger black voters are beginning to stray away. New data show, show uh, new data suggest. Specifically, the data show that more black and Hispanic men could be casting their ballots for Republicans in this election. Many Latinos and people of color no longer have strong ties to the civil rights era. Mike Madrid, a Republican consultant and voting trend researcher told Axios. Democrats cannot concede that non-white voters are anything other than civil rights voters, like black folks. Madrid said in their mind, all Latinos need to be taught to like farm workers or the undocumented, even though that's less than 95 even though that's less than 95% of us. Latinos make up the largest portion of non-white voters in the country, and while they still remain left-leaning, evidence shows that they are beginning to shift more conservative in recent decades. Some experts believe Democrats' emphasis on abortion rights and climate change is not resonating with these voters, which is, you know, it's odd about some of the stuff that they campaign on. This is a guy down here, his brother, won an election a couple weeks ago. I can't think of his name. He used to be a football player from what I hear. You know, ball-headed dude. And while he's up there giving his victory speech, like one of the first things he talks about is abortion rights. And it was and it was something else he said, but I was sitting here wondering like, why did he hit on that immediately? Like, you know, like it's just the worst thing ever and we got to stand on that and blah, blah, blah. And I believe in these. I mean, it's like he campaigning hard for the women, which is who probably are the ones who voted for him, so he probably feels some kind of obligation to him. You know, he played football, and you know most of the women who fighting for you know these these you no know, these women you know these abortion and elemental p rights, they a lot of them look well the ones in the forefront. I just looking like they was linebackers for the Green Bay Packers, so maybe they have something in common. But it would just kind of struck me as odd that that's what he would. You know, begin his camp, begin his victory uh, speech with. On the campaign trail, Trump has touted winning over black voters, claiming that they sympathize with him for being discriminated against in the court case against him. He is aiming to do better among black voters in November after not doing well in 2027 when 87% voted for Biden. And again, you got older people. 
who are voting down Democrat because of what the Republic they feel the Republicans stand for. But always remember, you vote on policy, not on the person and not on the party. Because let's just say, like Greg Abbott, do I think Greg Abbott may have a touch of prejudice or a touch of racism in his body, in his blood? Yes, I do. But is he doing everything he can to quell this migrant crisis to protect his people? Yes, I do. Do I feel that's a major political point, sticking point for me? Yes, I do. Would it help me vote for him in any upcoming election? It won't hurt. It won't hurt. Now, what I'm going to do is anybody that's running against him, I'm going to look at any policy that they're running on, that they're campaigning on. And then I'm going to look at their history and see how they stand on it. If they stand on business, as y'all like to say. And we'll see if I want to vote for one or vote for the other or vote for neither. We'll see. But in the meantime, Greg Abbott's doing some doing, doing some good stuff right now, so I ain't mad at him on, on that. That's what you do, man. You don't vote because your grandma voted for him. You don't vote for them because they're black. You don't vote for them because they're Democrat. You vote for them on the policies that they that you know that they're gonna stand behind and push. And they've already pushed for them. Really, if you wanna like really break it down, just like I say, get on them on what they already doing or what they've already been campaigning on in the past. And say, okay, let's put you in. But yep, yeah, Democrats, like I say, you're losing it. And it's only a matter of time. It really is. I mean, even this year, if Joe Biden somehow seen out tell ends up winning the presidency, like I say, it's only a matter of time when people are gonna get really tired, really tired of the false promises, the non-tangible, you know, trinkets that they give us. Eventually, people are gonna get tired. So they'll be out of here before you know it. But anyway, tell me what you think about this story. Leave your comments below, share it with the world. Let's dialogue. You know how we do it around here. We have intelligent conversation where I can learn. You can learn. I can teach. You can teach. You know, we move forward. And also, four ways to non-monetarily support the channel. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. It helps boost the algorithm, the channel, and the videos. It only takes a couple of minutes out of your life and it does wonders for the channel. And also you see them commercials, let them commercials play. It also helps benefit the channel. But if you want to help benefit, I mean, you're going to help support benefit, help support financially, super chats, super likes, or super, th super thanks, super chats, or click on some of the links in the description box and you can support them. But anyway, that's all I got for this video. And with that being said, I leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.